Hello, my name is Joe Fricky. I'm the Senior VP for Centermark Corporation. Been getting a lot of inquiries recently about the roofing material shortages in the commercial roofing market and wanted to address how we got there and some of the solutions that we have to get through this situation that we have. So how did we get there? I'll jump into some of the reasons right now. Uh, trade war with and, uh, and tariffs with China have limited the amount of materials that they are shipping us. They're keeping a lot of the stuff for themselves in that case. Uh, we've had a low roofing inventory uh, to start 2021. Obviously with COVID, there was a lack of employees at the different manufacturing plants. They, so they had uh, less production than they normally do. And a lot of the roofing materials that they were producing went to hurricanes and other storms in 2020. So we started out with a low inventory already going into this year. Had some challenges with different weather events and other uh, extraneous situations like a, there was a deep freeze in Texas, which uh, really shut down some of the refinery plants that made a lot of the raw materials for the roofing market. Had a couple of situations with fires. There was a fire at a chlorine plant and there were two separate fires at insulation plants that make commercial roofing materials. Uh, and, and that really has slowed down production in the commercial roofing market as well. Also, uh, as we all know, we had the Suez Canal blockage that started the fray of difficulty in getting uh, the barges and ships that can carry containers with raw materials and actual materials into the United States. Uh, so that's really slowed things down as well on the supply chain side of things. Couple that with truck availabilities. Uh, we're getting late delays on uh, shipping and, and that kind of stuff for commercial roofing products as well. Couple all that with the commercial roofing market up 14% in sales. So we've had an increase in sales and has caused our contractors to submit more uh, orders to our manufacturer suppliers and our manufacturing suppliers are not able to fill this panic buying and additional orders and fulfill those orders for our, uh, for our customers. So it's getting materials much later and uh, causing pricing to increase. We've seen a lot of material price increases in 2021 for the various uh, roofing components. And we're seeing in 2022 that it's probably gonna continue so up to 10% each of the next uh, three quarters in 2022. So what does that mean for everyone? Well, it's low supply and high demand because we've seen increased um, pricing on materials. Also lead times for various materials are pushing out well into third quarter in some cases. So projects that are contracted in early to mid 2022 may not have a completion date until 2023. So how can we combat this? Obviously, this is a short-term situation, but it could continue on into 2022. Long-term, things should level out. But if customers can commit to a project now, they'll avoid those significant price increases in 2022 and get on the schedule for some point in 2022 so we can complete those projects. In many cases, we can help provide discounted leak service in the meantime on those projects and maybe even some longer term or midterm coding systems and other types of things to do repairs to get you through the wet winter months and maybe even longer. So there's some situations we can help. Uh, please pass this on to the appropriate folks. And uh, it's a tough situation, but we will get through that and Centermark is here to help.